So what happened to the front end now? Upon further inspection, just had a screw coming out. So I think I tightened this a week or two ago. But obviously I didn't put Loctite or anything, so it has decided to come out. So I'll put it back in. <laughs> and if it starts becoming a pain in the butt, then we'll switch to the reefle drive shaft like I did on the back. No big deal. One of the other things I was talking about was the RC four-wheel drive LED light. Just like take the screws off the ends and you can slide it right out of there. Mine the wires broke off, so I gotta fix it. But look at this soldering job. And a few of these lights that are not working anymore. But then you look at this and it's like what the heck? It's almost like somebody had messed with this before I ever bought it. Like, what's this jumper here? I don't know. Really weird. But you can see this one LED got super hot. So I don't know if that's a short there and the solder dripped. I don't understand. You can see it looks like a few bad connections here and a few. This one here just really weird to me. I don't know if that's an intentional jumper or if it got so hot the solder melted on both of these and it just touched. really strange but when I first opened this I saw this big glob of glue on the end and I thought oh no I'm never gonna get it out of there and I gave it a push from the other side and it popped out so hopefully I can put some new wires on there put it back together and this LED light bar will continue to work I really like them, they're so cool. <laughs> Intercept, Intercept and destroy. And destroy.